At this meeting, we discuss fully our agenda for the board meeting to be held the third Thursday of each month. As board members, we encourage you to attend, watch, and listen to our committee discussion resulting in action at the board meetings. For full disclosure, our committee meetings and board meetings are always announced, video and audio taped, as well as posted to our webpage for your view. All of our meetings are public and visitors are welcome. Mrs. Campos, will you please call the roll? Mrs. Worzen? Present. Mr. Atwood? Present. Mrs. Ballard is absent. Mrs. Cole? Present. Mrs. Rayburn? Present. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item 1.04 is the adoption of the agenda. I would like to make a motion to adopt the agenda as written. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Atwood and second by Mrs. Graver. Mrs. Orson? Yes. Mr. Atwood? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Graver? Yes. Items 1.05 through 1.12 are um, approval of meeting minutes from July 11th, 2019, a special meeting. Um, did I say July? June 11th, 2019 special meeting. June 11th, 2019 committee meeting. June 12th, 2019 special meeting. June 20th, 2019 regular meeting. July 1st, 2019 special meeting. July 2nd, 2019 special meeting. July 2nd, 2019 special meeting two. And July 9th committee meeting. I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes for the list of dates. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Atwood, second by Mrs. Cole. Mrs. Orson? Yes. Mr. Atwood? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Ms. Mrs. Raper? Yes. Uh, moving on to item two, our education report. Item 2.01 is the MLU with HCESC Learning Center. As we discussed last uh, week, this is just our standard agreement with Hamilton County Educational Services. I'll make a motion to approve the MOU. I will second. Motion by Mrs. Cole and second by Mr. Atwood. Mrs. Orson? Yes. Mr. Atwood? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Ray? Yes. Item 2.02, .02, our student handbooks for each of the buildings, um, our preschool handbook, the K-6 handbook, Norwood Middle School, as well as the Norwood High School student handbook. I hope everybody's had a chance to review those. I know we looked at them last week. Can I get a motion, please? A motion to approve these handbooks. I'll second. Motion by Mrs. Raymer and second by Mrs. Cole. Mrs. Orza? Yes. Mr. Atwood? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Raymer? Yes. Item three is personnel with superintendent recommendations. Dr. Zabo? Thank you, Madam President and Board. I'd like to recommend under 3.01 a resignation. I'd like to make a motion to approve the resignation. A second. Mr. Atwood and second by Mrs. Cole. Mrs. Worson? Yes. Mr. Atwood? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Raper? Yes. Under items 3.02 in employment, um, number one, I'd like for, us, for you to consider uh, educational aids and student assistant aids for the 2019-2020 school year. I'll motion to approve employment recommendations. I'll second that. Motion by Mrs. Cole and second by Mrs. Raver. Mrs. Orson? Yes. Mr. Atwood? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Raver? Yes. Under item two, I'd like for consideration of educational aid uh, and student assistant aid, um, Mrs. Atwood for the 2019-2020 school year. I'll motion. I'll second. 
motion by myself, second by Mr. Cole. Mrs. Cole, discussion? I will be abstaining from this vote and just letting everybody know that if I voted for this, this would be a potential conflict of interest. So therefore, I will be using my abstention. Thank you. Mrs. Orson? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Ray? Yes. For further consideration, uh, Madam President and the Board, uh, item number three, teacher contract pers contract personnel on a first uh, one-year contract for the 2019-2020 school year. Item four, avenues for success after school program 2019-2020 school year. And these are folks that are paid through grant funds. Item number five, Thursday school detention monitors for the 2019-2020 school year. A two, for home instruction for the 2019-2020 school year. Physical therapist is item number seven. Number eight is a change in status. Number nine, kindergarten camp. Number 10, a stipend for the 2019-2020 school year. Item 11, a supervisor of family and student support services. Item 12, simply as a resolution to hire non-certified coaches, advisors for the 2019-2020 school year. And that item number one is our pupil activity contracts for the 2019-2020 school year. Uh, number two is marching band for the 2019-2020 school year. And I believe that concludes the recommendations. I'd like to make a motion to approve the recommendations from item number three through 12. I'll second. Mr. Atwood and second Mrs. Raymond. Mrs. Warson? Yes. Mr. Atwood? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Raper? Yes. Item right. four on our agenda is the policy committee report. Mr. Atwood? Thank you, Madam President. With the board's approval, I would like to make a motion to have the second reading and approval of the three policies that have been under our consideration now for over a month. Um, those policies are BJA, Liaison with School and Boards Association. Policy EHB, use of electronic signatures, and policy KJA, distribution of materials in the schools. We did the first reading at the last board meeting. This motion will be for the second reading and approval of these policies. So if I can get a second. A second. Motion by Mr. Applet. Uh, okay. Mr. Applet, second by Mr. Cole. Any discussion on these policies before we move on? The use of electronic signatures is a completely new policy. As we move forward in, in business, electronic signatures becomes more widely used, and it's good for us to have a policy in place on how to handle the truth those. Thank you, Mr. Atwood. Mrs. Orson? Yes. Mr. Atwood? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Brink? Yes. Item five on the agenda is Building and Grounds Committee report. Mrs. Cole, what do you have for us? Thank you, Madam President. As we discussed um, last week, we have five requests for use of our facilities. Uh, first of all, we have the Valley Church, the Easter Egg Helicopter Drop-In Festival. This is at Shea Stadium on Saturday, March 28th. They have a backup date of Saturday, April 4th, 2020, uh, from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. This is level D. Item two is Norwood Recreation, Youth Volleyball Practices and Games. We have clarified with Mrs. Jenny Wallace uh, the, the exact uh, locations. So the high school gym would be for practices and the middle school uh, field house would be for the games. Uh, various dates and times that range from August 6th to, uh, through October 19th, 2019, and that's level C. Uh, number three is Norwood Ready Kids, parent training. Uh, that would take place in the Norwood City School District boardroom. Thursday, August 8th, 2019, from 5 to 7 p.m., level A. Number four, Norwood City School Family and Student Support Services, the Date with Dad Dance, which takes place in the high school cafeteria. Thursday, February 6th, 2020, they're asking for use of the cafeteria from 2 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., and that's level A. And lastly, number five, the Norwood Community Coalition for the monthly coalition meetings in the Norwood City School District boardroom the second Tuesday of each month from August 19th through, uh, through June 2020. 
uh, 9.45 a.m. to 11.15 a.m., and that's a level C. So can I get a motion to approve the facilities request? I'd like to make a motion to approve the facilities use request for items one through five as written. I'll second motion. Motion by Mr. Atwood and second by Mrs. Graber. Mrs. Orson? Yes. Mr. Atwood? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Graber? Yes. Item six is the finance committee report. Mrs. Camphouse? Thank you, Madam President. It isn't often that the treasurer gets to share really good news, but I have some tonight. School Outfitters, a retail establishment located in our district, has an expiring enterprise zone agreement. During the abated agreement period of 10 years, School out Outfitters have far surpassed their agreement goals. As a district, I would like to congratulate them and to thank them for exceeding their part of their agreement. We really appreciate their community partner in the city of Mobile. They've really done a great job. They've had a lot of jobs and put a lot of money into that retail establishment. So it's a very positive experience for us. That's great. Thank you, Julie. The General Assembly Conference Committee approved House Bill 166. It went to the House and the Senate for their vote, and the governor has signed it, so we have funding for this year. Very excited about that. The governor also um, approved some line item vetoes, vetoes that are very positive for school districts, so um, I was happy to see that. 6.01, all financial reports are attached for your approval. You will see that we ended the year very close to expected in our forecasts for October and in May. Compared to October's forecast, we ended the year less than one-third of 1% 1 over expected for revenues, and expenditures were 1.5% over expected due to that transfer. Compared to May's forecast, we ended the year less than three one-hundredths of a percent under expected and saw savings of a third of a percent on the budget side. Accurate forecasting helps build community trust and that's why I share this information tonight. 6.02 is our appropriation resolution and 412 certificate, which is our current year budget. 6.03, the certificate of beginning balances and estimated resources. This document starts the current year um, estimated revenues with the county auditor. 6.04, federal grants, early allocations, approval. 6.05, approval of the creation of a fund and cash transfer for severance. 6.06, .06, transfer of funds for a debt payment. 6.07, due contracts for Sharpsburg construction. These contracts were signed and returned July 9th in order to not delay construction. 6.08, SWOCA technology services contract. 6.09, the Brookwood settlement agreement that we spoke about last week. And finally, 6.10, the Clinger Group Site Survey Contract. This item wasn't on our committee meeting last week. It wasn't on the agenda. The need for the site survey came to our attention this Monday at our construction meeting in Columbus. The survey is pivotal to our building permit approval. So I am recommending that for your approval tonight. I'd like to make a motion to approve the financial item 6.01 through 6.10 as written in the um, agenda. Second. Motion by Mr. Atwood and carried by Mrs. Cole. <clears throat> Is there a discussion on this? Yeah, there's just a couple of things I want to mention um, here within these um, line items. So first, in the financial reports, I think it's important to note that in the CFO report, um, because we were so fantastically um, grateful for the citizens to approve the levy for our construction work that we're currently doing, and because we didn't need all of that, all of those dollars at one time, we were able to create an investment portfolio um, to put that money to the best use. And as you can see in that CFO report, you know, over the course of the last fiscal year, we, you know, were um, given interest over $973,000 of, of that money. Now, 
the money that we asked is 10 million short of what we really anticipated needing. So this interest money, which can only be used towards permanent improvement projects, you know, gets us a good chunk of the way to meeting that end goal. I think that's fantastic. That's a really good work. Um, the other thing that I wanted to bring up is on item 6.06, .06, the transfer funds for the debt payment. So I think this is another fantastic item I just want to highlight. It's this $465,000 that we're transferring. There's only one other debt payment. Yes. Right. So as of when we do this next year, there will be no more debt. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no more debt. And that is fantastic that we're able to do that. I just want to highlight that for, for our taxpayers that you know, this time next year, we're going to be talking about being debt free. We'll just, have our, we'll just have our own money. Yeah. yeah. And then um, the last item I wanted to highlight is 6.10, the Rickwood settlement. So this was a year in the undertaking, mm -hmm. right? Now, the settlement for this um, did not hit our account within the fiscal year, correct? Correct. Right, so that means that brought our revenue just a little bit shy of what we were anticipating, but because it's gonna be hitting early in this fiscal year, so we're gonna be starting the 2019-2020 in, in a very good spot, so. Mm -hmm. That's right. I just wanted to highlight those items. And credit to Julie, so thank you very much. Absolutely, Welcome. thank you so much. Thank you. Mrs. Orza? Yes. Mr. Allen? Yes. Mrs. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Raper? Yes. <clears throat> and seven is the hearing of the public. There is no public in attendance this evening. So we'll move on to item eight. Um, which are reports. Any board announcements to start with? It's quiet, it's summer. <laughs> it's okay, we're enjoying this time. Just cranking out the work. Yes, <laughs> item 8.02 is the superintendent's report. Thank you, Dr. Zabo. Thank you, Madam President and the board. I just want to um, announce and, and give kudos to Mrs. Layla Kubesh. See, she's a teacher at Norman Middle School and she has been named the 2020 State Board of Education Teacher of the Year for District 4. And by that uh, name in and of itself, she then further goes on as a candidate for a Teacher of the Year for 2020. So her documents will be reviewed later this month and then she will go through an interview process and we'll learn very shortly after that and she'll be announced later this fall if she is the Teacher of the Year for the State of Ohio. So there were only 11 candidates selected and we're so very proud that our City School District teacher is among that, um, but that small sampling of exemplary teachers around the State of Ohio. So we wish her all the very best. She has a busy summer schedule. She is presenting at a number of conferences this summer. So that's not unlike her. She's presented last year, I think at High Ames. Um, but uh, I spoke to her just yesterday and she's just absolutely enthused. Another thing we're all enthused about is the Notre Dame Parade. That's on Tuesday night at seven o'clock. Our Norwood Band will be there along with fall sports and a number of our students and our administrators and I think some of our board members. So we're looking forward to that night. It'll be a great celebration of Norwood. That concludes my report. Thank you, Dr. Sebo. Item 8.03 is the Norwood Community Television Report, um, which I did not receive anything from Amber, so we'll just go ahead and move forward to the Avenues for Success Report. Um, they're, they're just in full swing. They're in the, the thick and the heat of their work this summer, and um, things are going fun for them. They're having a great turnout, and of course, Laura is you know busy planning and getting ready for the Splash Back to School and the Bounce Back to School. Um, which will be next month. It's, it's almost time for school supplies, which is exciting. And item 8.05 is the legislative report. Mrs. Raver. Thank you. Um, the big news um, legislative-wise right now was um, the passing of the House Bill 166. Um, the original uh, date was June 20th, and they had to extend it um, to July 17th, but as Julie said, passed. And 
All is good. All is good now. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Draper. Item nine is um, meeting notification, approval of future meetings. And we would like to hold our committee meeting August 13th um, of 2019 here in the boardroom and our regular meeting August 22nd, 2019, also here in the boardroom at Williams Avenue. Um, I would just, let's get a motion and we'll discuss. I'd like to make a motion to approve the meeting dates as written. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Atwood and second by Mrs. Cole. So the only thing that I want to point out is that this is a shift in our calendar mm -hmm. and uh, we were all in agreement with that and that's just to accommodate um, just some scheduling conflicts mm -hmm. among several um, of our members. Um, so the only thing that I have is and I just recently found this out um, the week of August 19th. Um, I may be in Spain, so I'm just letting everybody know that right. I may not be here that week. That could change, but as of right now, I may be out of the country. Okay, thanks, Greg. Yes, Mrs. Yes, Mrs. Cole. Yes, Mrs. Raper. Yes. I see in item 10, items removed for separate consideration, but I have nothing. No. So we'll move on to 11, which is to enter into executive session. In accordance with ORC 121.22G1, the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, or compensation of a public employee or official, or the investigation of charges or complaints against a public employee, official, licensee, or regulated individual, as well as in accordance with ORC 121.22G2, the purchase of property for public purposes or for the sale of property at competitive bidding. I'd like to motion to uh, approve these items to move into executive session. I'll second. Motion by myself and carried by Mrs. Raper. Mrs. Wilson. Yes. Mr. Hardy. Yes. Mrs. Cole. Yes. Mrs. Raper. Yes. Six twenty-four. 